got that ugly money. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to yet another episode of the Ugly Money Podcast. I am your host, Ugly Money Nietzsche, and my special guest of the evening, Atlanta Trendsetter. Shit. The sauce and drip originator. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, and, and I don't drip no more. I done dried out on these nigga ass, man. <laughs> Often big. duplicated but never mimicked. Look, look, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood YC is here. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What we doing? Brother, brother, brother. First and foremost, man, thank you for making some time, man. I'll be seeing you all over the gram, all over the, you know, all in the city, moving around, doing what you need to do. What's you brother? feel what I'm saying? And, um, you know, before I knew who you were, you know, I was one. I'm like, man, who is this fly dude with all the money all the time? So for the people that been sleeping under a rock, who is Hollywood YC and what does Hollywood YC do? Hollywood YC is the biggest in it. He the, he the originator of all this shit. It, you know, you know, uh, a bankhead native. Yes, Hollywood sir. roll God. Yes, sir. Hollywood roll God, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like well, 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 I passed the torch to my, my, my little cousin. One hand, Rick, he's a Hollywood Road God, but Hollywood Road God, they mm. know what's happening with us. And I'm, I'm the biggest in it. Yes, uh, sir. You know, trend setting is at all time high with me. Come as on. You, as you know, my brother. Yes, sir. Um, music, bar for bar, now nigga can step in no booth with Let's me. Let's go. Um, uh, Game, you know, when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, top notch to this shit. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying, the flies. So they know what's happening with me, man. Been happy since Icebox Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but doing this shit before nigga knew Icebox Wolves. Now look, I want to talk to you about. For, let's talk about Jury for a second. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you, you blinding, you blinding us, us, us folk today. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nah, it's light. <laughs> it's light, man. It's hey, what's light. the most you've ever spent in a day on Jury? hundred and twenty-four thousand. See how he knew that number real quick? Yeah, 124,000. What, what did you cop? The skeleton AP. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 124. Now, where does where does where does the fashion sense come from? You know what I'm saying? Coming from the West Side, Hollywood Road, you know, one may not think that a person will put that shit on the way they put that shit on. Like I'm where? the biggest in it when it comes to my side. Really, really when it comes to Atlanta. Um, really, I got the fashion sense through my brother, baby Chris. Like, we as he in the building now, me and him, like, 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 Chris was going to buy, he was on, I was on a, I was, I, like, I, my favorite rapper at the time was Dro. Okay. Still one of the hardest Shout in my Dro, book sure, ever sure. in, in life. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's not a nigga can go bar for bar with Shout. And it came really from Dro. I was a polo kid. I used to always wear polo and shit. Mm. And baby Chris, you know, he was so head on with the shit. Like, there's there no cap, nigga. This was in... Oh eight, yeah. he was going in the women's section buying skinny pants. Come on! Before I even knew, I'm like, man, they gonna hate us on the stage. <laughs> this nigga had tripping, man. They gonna hate us on the stage, yeah. man. I ain't getting on stage with this nigga. They gonna hate us on the stage. <laughs> but that man was a bitch magnet. Mm. I seen him do that. I still didn't do it. I ain't give a fuck. I'm like, what the fuck? So this no cap. Um, at school, boy, SK here tell you he yeah. got the whole. Well, baby, baby, see, like, yes, baby, Chris is like, like, he was like one of ours. Like, I got a lot of, I remember picking him up, like, picking him up, listening to Young Ralph and Young LA, mm -hmm. going to pick Chris up. And my, my, you know, I was on four, I was on 24s as yes, a young sir. nigga. Yes, sir. I'm going to pick Chris up. Then before we even got damn did anything, he used to always be like, bro, we're going to Urban Outfitter and all that old weird shit, you know? I'm like, hell, all like, what the set, fuck is all that? All set swag back then. Yeah, you know? I'm like, what the fuck is that? I ain't going to that. <laughs> yeah, Man, yeah. I'm going to goddamn Polo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Goddamn in Lenny's way. Before Tesla was right there, we uh -huh. were next to Polo. Come on. So, goddamn, we're going right there. I'm like, I'm going to let y'all go have that. But I really got the fashion sense. We got it from each other, building on each other mm. for real. You know, coming from splint clothes with your yes, brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I wear, I, I, I wear some shit one week to a show. He'll wear it, but they ain't seen us so shit. We used to split clothes going to the show. They don't know no different. Yeah, yeah. We used to split clothes going to the show. I, I got to say that. We used to split clothes and, going and, to the And y'all just expanded, expanded, expanded on. Now, talk to me about, like, you, you know, you talk about your brother Chris. Like, talk to me about the Stat Money Boys. Okay, Stat Money Boys. Okay, Stat Money originated when I was in, uh, when I was in high school. 
we was I was we I was in this group called GMC. So you had you had Kodem, that's my right hand. They was mm -hmm. in SOA. And it's so crazy. I'm gonna tell you how this shit came about. Kodem was in SO, you know he had the three letter games yes, in school. Yes, but there wasn't no fight, no beef, and everybody mm -hmm. was just Repination. on fly time. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Crib was younger, you know what I'm saying? Crib was younger. And with Chris being younger, goddamn, I used to be like, man, I gotta go pick that nigga up. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, swag. Like, I gotta go pick Shout up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn, I've been knowing him since I was a baby, yeah. but I gotta go pick him up. He gotta be with me. Come on. And my little brother, he gotta be with me. Yes, sir. So, goddamn, I used to take him everywhere with me. They'd mm -hmm. be like, man, who the hell this nigga had with these mohawk? His dress is in a mohawk. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> like, man, this, 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 this. I was young, Chris. Okay. And his name was Chris, too. Yeah. Both our names is Christopher. This shit's so crazy. Yes. He like, shit, I'm going to be baby Chris. Come on. I'm like, oh, that's hard. You see what uh -huh. I'm saying? So it was just me and him. And I was like, shit, bro, I'm going to put you in stack money. He was like, shit, my cousin I already in. I'm going to be in. Yeah, Because yeah. he original wild mill nigga. Mm -hmm. A real ethereal 2500 nigga. Come on. You know what I'm saying? But he from Cedar and Center Hill. But, you know, goddamn, us being out from Bankhead, you know, wild mill. I was like, you ain't no wild mill no more. So mm. them niggas in wild mill used to get mad at him. He, they used to jam with me. <laughs> You ain't yeah, wild no more. Yeah. Why you stack money? You had some beef. They be like, hell nah. He like, bro, them folks gonna be mad. But hell nah, but you yeah, a stack money nigga. So, when I'm being a stack, <coughs> when I'm being a stack money nigga, you know, that shit just, we just, we just sit to sit on fire, man. A lot of this shit came from us, man. Like, there's no cap, like everything, man. It, and, it, and it sounds so crazy because, you know, every nigga get somewhere and get to going, but this shit came from us. Yeah. No, 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 no. It really, really, really came from us. That's like, it, it, it sound crazy, ugly. I know you're not sitting. So many niggas sit in these seats and say a lot of shit done came from them. Like, no, it really came from us. Like, when you can, you say, you can get to you go say, asking niggas. When you say it came from you, what exactly are you talking about? Like, the fashion sense? The fashion the skinny sense. skinny jeans. The skinny jeans came from Buddy. I wasn't on that. The 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 goals the, the, the ad libs you know these nigga one they one you know nigga it it it, it had not got so so big for us nigga you had L A and J money calling my phone when they Ooh. and they peak of their career like hey bro we need to get down y'all nigga need to don't be on the stage together y'all tripping like they used to be calling my phone like that like like hey boy I ain't gonna lie y'all young niggas out of here mm. cause it was like we was just one of the, we was just we was just them young niggas. With all the flavor. We yes, had sir. real deal flavor in our time. You yes, feel sir. me? Yes, so, sir. goddamn, I remember this shit like a book. Let me tell you some mm -hmm. real true story. He made the, the dance. It, the dance was called Bow Bow Clap. Okay. It wasn't Boom Boom Clap. You know yeah, yeah. You, you know what's happening? You know what's happening? Yeah, it on. wasn't Boom Boom Clap. Okay. It was Bow Bow Clap. Okay. So, I'm telling him, Travis Porter trying to steal, bro. Mm. So, goddamn, you know, even though we cool with them boys to this mm -hmm, day, mm -hmm. but I'm telling him, like, hey, bro, them boys trying to steal. He like, man, no, they ain't. Bro, them boys hot right now, bro. We need to go do a song with them. I'm like, Chris, I'm not going. Mm. So, goddamn, I get to the studio. He going to make the song Boom Boom Clap. Even though we ain't talking about no old shit, because I'm a big ass, I'm me. Yeah. But I'm just giving you the rundown. Yes, sir. So, where all the shit came from. Mm. It just when he went and did that, I'm like, damn, like, like I love Scrap Ali. They're my folk. Yes, you know, sir. I fuck them boys. But it's like when they made the song, it was like, I I heard one thing and it killed my whole. I ain't even want to do music no more. <laughs> I heard my ad lib go. Oh my god, I could have, I could have killed Chris. It wasn't even them. I could have killed Chris. Yeah, I could have killed Chris. So it just from back then to the ways now. It just I've been creating. Big tsunamis, man. Do you do even you, know what's happening? Do you think that Travis Porter kind of took the landscape of Atlanta hip hop culture at that time and kind of <laughs> and kind of incorporated it to themselves? Because you know they had mm -hmm. some a situation with Roscoe Dash back in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was Travis the ones that saying whatever's hot? They just gonna kind of incorporate it in them. And just, I think Travis was the best stillers. Like. <laughs> Nah, I, I, it worked though. Yeah, it, it worked. worked. Like, it worked like, hell. like, like I seen what they <laughs> they seen what niggas was doing, mm. and they was taking it because they was hotter, and, and and they switched it and put it into their own flavor. So when they, when they did that, it made it look like damn, like these niggas created that shit. Yeah. Cause when I seen them do a show at the Libra with Boom Boom Clap, uh huh, and they was getting paid for the shit. Oh man. You know how I felt about the shit, like but. When they just did the uh, Rick Kid versus 
uh Cherry Porter uh-huh. shit about a year ago. Yeah. Them boy did some real shit. They 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 they, they got to grab the mic. I can't count. This dance came from Baby Chris. Wow. Yeah, they did. They really and it, cause school got on the mic like, hey man, y'all niggas trying to perform boom boom clap. They're they're originating not even here. I had to really grab the phone. Them folk packed that bitch out. It was over. There. Them folk yeah. packed that shit out. Mm-hmm. I literally had to FaceTime baby Chris, quiet everybody out there, and put them on FaceTime. This is the creator of that shit. You know what that's I'm saying? Crazy. Cause it, that's my brother, and I never leave him out. Now, um, speaking of stealing, not to be messy, <laughs> it seems like. You, you you are a flavor originator with you, Chris. You know y'all y'all are always coming up. Y'all are always on the forefront of, of what's what's next and what's new. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times uh, it seems like major artists or artists with a bigger bigger name or budget come through and, and, and see the flavor and then they want to use the flavor. And they take it. <laughs> they take it. And it's like when they take it, it make us look like we hang because mm. only thing we doing is listen ugly. Only thing we doing is standing up for the shit we created. There it is. Cause to the world it gonna look like we stealing, man. Yeah. Like real shit, man. You come out here like, oh, that's Travis Porter. That Travis Porter. That that yeah, me go yeah. like like like. I ain't got no pressure. Let me just clear this on. I ain't yeah. got no pressure with the me Okay. Like I'm really, I really was real. I was saying really my real boy. Mm-hmm. Besides no music shit, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like. I don't really know Quavo and take all like that, but mm-hmm. I know that boy set. You mm-hmm. feel me? So mm-hmm. that shit just really went too far because, you know, it really, it really was like. And then my last time speaking on this shit, yeah. I'm a big ass, the biggest player the ever. The biggest. And really, that was really my real boy. You That's feel right. me? And it just really went too far because I've been screaming notes from the goat. It's so unique. Yeah. You ain't never heard a nigga speak on that. You ain't never heard a nigga say that. Notes from, notes the, from goat. the goat. You will never hear a nigga yeah. say that. Oh, I see. You see what I'm saying? That YC. You know, I'm in I'm in high one day. Thor walk, young Thor walk up, free that boy, free YSL, by the way. Thor walk up to me and say, Man, how the hell a nigga didn't know that was your shit? Man, I know that's your shit. Mm. If I know that's your shit, nigga, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, I watch everything. Everybody else know that's your shit. And I was like, Man, that real Thor. He like, Yeah, man, like this shit getting crazy, man. Nigga running out of ideas. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, it's like, I'm not against them. Yeah. Uh, I'm not against, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when I called Offset, you know, when I called the boy, I'm like, hey. And he called me like 20 times. And then when we just got on the phone, we were chopping it up. And he was like, man, nigga know that's your shit, bro. He was like, but it ain't going to be called it. I think that was a song. They changed the name to We Set the Trend. So I was okay. like, it was cool. Because, you know, he had all, they had all them niggas on there. You know, yeah. whatever the case may be. Yeah. I was just hurt because I worked so hard for this shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like. Like I really when I when I when I, when you see this shit ugly when you be saying Holly you be like damn let shout be speak some real shit yeah for sure no I be cheap with shout out a real this. stepper he ain't got mm-hmm. nothing you know what I'm saying so it like I'm giving notes it's note I'm giving y'all notes from the goat I'm um, notes from game. the goat I'm giving y'all real game I'm a Hollywood Road nigga original so it like when nigga be seeing that shit they feel like since they got a bigger platform and you know P a real OG besides yes, some some already besides some. Music shit. Music shit. Yeah, yeah. Shout out a real indiscreet nigga. Yes, sir. You feel me? And and his best friend, like a nigga who raised me in my right hand, and I ain't cold. Okay. Nigga, and I ain't slick, real washing the road, mm. red oak OG. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He really raised the nigga, and that slick right hand, man. So, you know, I got on the phone with P and all that after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got it together, but long story short, here, man, hey, man, if you got, if, 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 if you running out of ideas, man, it's just to any artist, man. I'm just giving some real game, man. If y'all running out of any ideas, man, start signing your niggas and see what's happening. Do it like do it, do it like a lot of these big rappers doing. They scooping up the young niggas who they know really in the street. They hearing their story going to record it. That shit said go platinum, man. These niggas ain't in the street for real. Mm. They, how, how, how would they know about cracking cars? They ain't never been in the. They ain't never been on the black web trying to get some some card numbers. Yeah. These niggas don't know nothing about pros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas don't know about gifts. Come on. They see, they hear a young nigga rapping about that shit. These niggas can't go press up, ugly. They don't know about this shit for yeah, real. <laughs> they, they don't know about that. They don't know about them bows. They don't know about that shit. So when they hear, when they hear a young nigga rap about that shit, they go record it. But the nigga who really you stealing the story from, he looking like, damn, bro, you ain't gonna throw a bone out here to a nigga. Damn. <clears throat> that's why I say when it comes to these artists, that's why I could give it up to baby. Mm-hmm. Shout out really in the street. I done seen him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, really in the street. But now he transitioned. He putting all these people on. How you do that shit. Yes, sir. You feel me? That's why 
When you don't do no flaw shit, you gonna always win in the end, bro. Always. When you don't do no flaw shit, you always win in the end, man. But a lot of niggas don't see that ugly because they be so lost trying to catch the next wave. Yeah. They trying to catch the next wave. Only thing you got to do, hey, man, don't try to catch the next wave. Get in the pool and push the water. Yeah, come on, come on. Create come on. your shit, man. Yeah, I don't put a nigga on. Put you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Get in the ocean and push your shit. If you get in some water right now and push, what they going to make? A wave. A wave, sir. You just got to stay down and push this shit, man. Yeah. You know, um... <clears throat> A lot of a lot of things you you are always ahead of your time. The first time that I ever heard that the Migos was supposed to be breaking up, I heard from you. Everybody say everybody used that how you broke up the Migo. I don't say I broke up the Migo. What I say is they seen some flow shit in whatever they had going. Mm-hmm. It ain't that I seen the future. It's just you pee flow shit. Yeah. <laughs> when a nigga see some flow shit, oh yeah. yeah, that shit gonna crumble. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And, and and you know, I seen P said, Hey, little bastard, hey. <laughs> Mm. Hey boy, you know something. I'm telling you, I be seeing flaw shit. Cause when, when when a nigga get on the phone to tell me, oh yeah, man, home that shit, this your brother. I don't even know that the nigga call him Quay. Yeah. I ain't know that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But I ain't said I, what I did was I did some real, I ain't even supposed to went back and forth with a nigga I got love for. You see what I'm saying? True indeed. That's that was that, some whole shit. That's, that's dope accountability though. <laughs> That was some whole shit. I ain't even put it went back and forth with buddy, man. You feel what I'm saying? Respect. Me and Shout and I had some real deal conversations. And I really I ain't even supposed to went back and forth with Shout because I really fought it with Buddy, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And right now, I don't know what he's going through, but you know what I'm saying? I'm praying for him because yes, it's not it's not that the world wanna see you down bad. I don't wanna see no nigga down bad. You feel me? Like, I ain't got no problem with offset. I don't got no problem with Quavo or takeoff. Like, and I don't I don't <laughs> you can't don't say I'm reaching for clout when I am clout. Exactly. How the hell you gonna reach for clout? I am. I am clout. How the hell I'm trying to reach from a start when I'm a coming? You can't do that. It's impossible. Come on. So it's like I ain't trying to. I ain't reaching for no nigga. I'm just calling whole shit out from the door. Yes, sir. You know how you a seal bitch? You at a party? You see her from the door and she naked? You gonna say, oh, that that's a hoe? You call whole shit out from the door? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not that I'm. I ain't reaching for no nigga for what? What what am I gaining off of it? Be honest, what am I gonna gain from it? The jury already bought. The jury already bought. Cars outside. Yeah, what? The what, what, is up. What, what am I doing? What am I what am I reaching for to do? What? What what's gonna make me bigger in this situation? Nothing really ain't gonna Ain't nothing gonna gain, nothing, gonna like gain from it. I'm just calling whole shit out from the door. Mm. And I ain't got no problem with them, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real shit, I ain't got no problem with no nigga in this shit, man. So that so 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 you saw you saw the breakup coming. I knew it. Mm. I knew it. The the reason I knew it was because, and I don't want to talk about them no more after this. Yes, the sir. reason I knew it was because the shit that was getting brought to me, and you know when it was getting said to me, you know I'm like, damn, like nigga talk like that, about that. About your partner. Yeah, I ain't never on that way. You feel me? But it like. I shit, I ain't, I ain't in there, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I fuck with a lot of niggas around them. Mm-hmm. Like, I fuck with a lot of, a lot of niggas around them. A lot of niggas still call me to this day. Mm. You feel me? That's around them daily. They might not know, but around them daily, like, hey, Holly. Do whatever make you think, like, if if a person will say something like that about their brothers or their What partners. they say about you? Exactly. Who? You see what I'm saying? That shit make me think, like, what do you niggas understand about me? Do they look at me like I'm trying to gain clout off them? Hell, fuck no. What the hell? I, I don't give a fuck about that shit, man. Rich as a motherfucker, man. I ain't got to <laughs> spit a verse. I like to go get me some money, man. Come on. Come I like to go get me some money, man. I'm walking in there, the same room with the same people, the same jury on. They don't look at me no different. Because they going to want to know who I am, more importantly. Because exactly. who the fuck is this nigga walking in here looking Person like this? CYC walking in the room like he's somebody. If he, if he don't know you, he can be like... He got to do somebody. something. Sorry, somebody. He got to do something. He doing something. Something going on with him. <laughs> nah, facts, man. Something going on with him. Like, let's talk Let's talk fashion, man. You know what I'm saying? The fashion scene is something that uh that always stuck out with you. You know what I'm saying? Like for sure. You, you always a person that's known to have it on. You know what I mean? For sure. For I was sure. talking to my brother, uh, Ugly Money, for sure. I was like, bro, what's some questions? What's some questions for YC? The first thing he said, bro, bro, y'all to be having that shit on. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, um... What what goes into it? Like like I mean I see the truey the truey, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what 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 thought process make you come up? How you come up with that shit? I don't know. I'm just head on with that shit. I, I just be I can see some shit, man. 
Like, I, they, I, it's like, designer don't make you fly. Let me just Facts. stop a nigga at the door. Facts. Designer don't make you a fly nigga at all. I done seen a nigga go spend 5000 in Dior still looking country. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Designer don't make you fly, man. I can be fly. I got on true religion. Mm. This shit look like it. What the hell he yeah, got on? Like he did something. What the hell he tripping in there, motherfucker? Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to tell you, designer don't make you fly. I'm just head on with this shit. Like, like, there's no cap. Like, if I show you who be in my view, man, you wouldn't believe me. And they just be watching, trying to find out what's next. I show you who in my view, man, you wouldn't believe. Me. You would go crazy if I show it to you right now. That's crazy. You want to drop a bomb? Drop it. Get, let, let us drop the goddamn bomb. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull up some shoe crazy. Let's go ahead and pull up some shoe crazy. Shout out to Red, go and get me uh, some of that that, 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 that that triple distilled shoe crazy black on vodka. Hey, stand the man. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead into the into the Bentley and go get the case. Go get the case out there at, at, at the front seat of a Bentley. Wait. You know what I'm saying? We have bits and shit. Man, hey, look, man. We, 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 it's the Ugly Money Podcast. We got to keep it all the way real. I got to keep, gotta it, keep real, it all the brother. way real. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Hollywood YC said, if I show you who is in my views, <laughs> they ain't going to believe me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Big is in it. Big is in it. So you need to tell me. Can we, can, Big is can, in can we tell him? Can I, can, I, I ain't going to let oh, yeah, you. I'm going to say it. Tell him. So I caught that nigga. Click. Caught him. So, so Kanye West. For sure. Is scoping YC's fashion sense. For sure. That's crazy. Now, the question is, what is the proper way if Kanye West wants to work or Kanye wants to sees the, the, the flavor that you bring in, how is he supposed to do it? Really, just a just an olive branch. You reach out. You know, I created, okay. I get this is my brand. You know, I got a brain, three yes, S's, four S's, all type of shit. This is my brand. I got Everything. Hmm. This is my brand. They call. Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what the fuck going on with me. But um, called Souls of Anarchy. Mm -hmm. It's not Sons of Anarchy. It's Souls of Anarchy. Come on. It means we're one percenters. Ain't nobody in the world like us. We are gonna let ninety nine percent of them folks stay who they is, and mm -hmm. we the one percenters. So Souls of Anarchy. I made this brand twenty twenty. Um, I'm in my condo, walking around, pacing one day. And everybody always come to me like, Holly, you need to goddamn, you need to create a clothing brand, bro. Mm -hmm. You need to go and create a clothing brand. Why the hell you keep playing with these few people? You ain't got no clothing brand out, bro. You be wearing all these niggas shit. Mm -hmm. Nigga pay me to wear they shit. Making that shit hot. Making that shit hot. You nigga pay you to wear they shit. Why you ain't got your own brand? Hmm. Man, listen, man, my little boy, you know how, you know how you, you put your little boy report card on the refrigerator? Yeah. Man, I had his report card. I, I'm looking at his report card. And I'm, I'm on there looking at it, and it just clicked in my head. I was sitting on my sofa. I turned his report card over and wrote Souls of Anarchy. And I and his report card was pinned. I flipped this shit to my shit, got Come one on. of them thing madness, and I posted it on my refrigerator, right? So I'm posting it on my refrigerator. I let like it stay up there. I still ain't move on it. My right hand co, he like, man, what's up with the clothing brand, man? Because he was doing his own shit. The one hand, you know, my label is one hand. Yes, sir. So he was doing the one hand shit. So. I'm like, cool, that shit hard. People want that shit. But I'm like, ah, uh, nigga ain't gonna wanna buy no one hand shit. Yeah. But he like, you shitting me, nigga wanna buy that shit. You tripping. But I'm not knowing how big of an influence I am until the fashion sense that people really wanna buy one hand clothes. So I'm like, man, co, I gotta get on some shit that 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 that, that need to go on Sass Fifth. Come on. So he like, well, we need we just need to go goddamn make it happen. So I what I did was I got all the fellas. You know what I'm saying? I got I ain't get all the fellas. I got Cole, my buddy Edo, and we shot to LA. We shot to LA. Got down. This shit so crazy how fast it went. We shot to LA. I shot to LA with July 2022. So I shot to LA July 2022 this year. Got back to the city. Clothes came like August, in the middle of August. Kanye was in my shit the next day hmm. when I posted it. And what's on the star? Follow me. And they ask, could they post my brand? What's on the star, bro? That shit happened so quick. You know how many niggas in the world exactly. want what's on the star to even repost them? Mm -hmm. When they when they when they when they tag me and they when they 
followed me and told me, boy, your shit hard. Shout out to my brother, Jack boy, real nigga from day one. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm saying? Real, real nigga. Call him right now. He'll pick up the phone right now. From Florida. Yeah, Jack boy. Yes, sir. Uh, 1804, Jack yes, boy. Sir. Real nigga. Real nigga. Seeing my shit online. Mm. DM me, boy. I got to, boy. I got to, well, we got to work. Flew all the way here, came and got my shit. Boy, what the hell you doing, Atlanta? Boy, I'm here to fuck with you, real nigga, now. Nah. Come on, real nigga. Did songs, rapper shit exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I gotta get it to you first. Rapper, rapper shit. shit exclusive. Come on, man. And um, you know, once he put it on, you know, everybody already they was already way mm -hmm. Ryan. Mm -hmm. But once they seen Lil Jack, cause he's really stepping. When it comes to fashion, Facts. top three in the industry. Come on. If I'm saying top three in the industry. You know he hard. You know he hard. Because yes, these nigga country dressing. <laughs> you know he hard. But it might go Marnie. But it might go Ricks on Marnie. See, people not going that mm. far. They brains not even there. They, they ain't even there yet. You know, a lot of <laughs> niggas ain't even there yet. You see what I'm saying? So, for him to go Rick on Marnie, you know what I'm saying? He might go to Fluff Marnie, motherfuckers. Niggas ain't even known that yet. You feel me, ugly? Mm. Mm -mm. So, so shout is just a different. Shout is just a differenter. He a different type of nigga, man. And, and, and I, I got so much respect for him to the point where he can't ask me. He can ask me for whatever. You know what I'm saying? So much respect for shout. Now that's love. Now so um, let let let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Here you go, Stan. Let's talk for a second. Uh. I got I got to give a big special shout out to Engorge Rejuvenation T. Uh, you know what I'm saying anybody that needs that extra pause. Okay. Um, yeah. So I got to give a big shout out to Engorge Rejuvenation T, sponsor of this episode of the Ugly Money Podcast. Uh, anybody that needs that extra oomph, you know what I'm saying. If you want to make the kitty purr, if you want to make a <laughs> growl, you definitely want to put some of it. You see what I'm saying? Fellas, y'all understand what's going on? All natural. It definitely increases everything that you need to get the job done. It's going to help you get there. Engorge Rejuvenation Tea, official sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, uh, you know, we, it, it, with all this drip we got going on. Engorge, you know, gonna... reach out. I need a couple, Engorge. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, you, 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 you locked in, son. Uh, yeah, for you sure. You locked in, Shout man. out to motherfucking Engorge, man. They keeping a the nigga together. Come on. I need to stay together. I know Coke going to hit me for a but I got to get some of them in God, motherfucker. You be putting me on the honey, but I gotta go and go. There it is, there it is. So look, so we talking about Kanye West. Kanye West is watching. You getting major, major posts from major platforms and everything like that. And, and, and speaking of Kanye, he just recently has been in the news like every day. For shitty. You know what I'm saying? Um, as of right now, I think he has uh, stopped dealing with Gap, stopped dealing with Adidas, yeah. and all the major fashion houses. Is he on the right track or is he on the wrong track? Um, let me just say this. Because people say I act like Kanye. Okay. But let me say this. What God got for you is what God got for you. No clothing brand, no brand, no, 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 no record label, no sponsorship gonna knock what God got planned for you. So you can't be mad at a person for their opinion. Mm. Like a lot of people, a lot of people. Don't like what Charleston White say. Mm -hmm. I disagree with a lot of it, mm -hmm. but a lot of that shit I agree with. Like I don't agree with that shit we doing with Tip and yeah, yeah. Little Tootie Rock. That's some whole shit. Talk about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. some whole shit. Yes, sir. But back to Kanye, he is nothing but a Charleston White times twenty. <laughs> he speak his mind, but it's like a lot of people don't understand it because yeah. they got a they feel some type of way. Because you just got to understand, he's still a regular person. Yeah, for sure. Just with money. People people be putting these niggas so hard. Not not saying Kanye, but niggas be judging so, like, judging so many people that's in the limelight of life. They not understand what you do wrong. Hmm. You might be in a barbershop saying, fuck Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Them folks scoundrel. You might be in goddamn... You you still the same type of person as Kanye. You just don't got no money. Yeah. So I, I with a lot of shit, I disagree with him on a lot. Yeah. But I agree with him on a lot of shit. Yes, sir. Because what God got for you is what God got for you. You see what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, not, it's not that you got to understand that just because he's Kanye, they feel like they can throw stones at him. 
Like that shit be some whole shit, man. I don't, I don't be agreeing with that shit. At the end of the day, we still all humans. Yeah, we still human. They act like this nigga has a robot. Y'all don't know what he going through in life, man. Shout can really be going through something. And, and if he die, get what? Everybody gonna be like, oh my god, Kanye. Yeah. That shit be some whole shit, man. I think, I think we need to, uh, we need to salute our goats while they still here. Yeah, man. Y'all need, to, y'all need, y'all need to really goddamn reach out to him and ask him what really going on, bro. And that, that's the thing that I thought I was like, you know, I said. I'm like, is, is it is it is it a promotional ploy or is it is it is it a, is a rollout? You know, I'm thinking like maybe he rolling out a new project while he doing this or or is he sick? He might be sick, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. People need to reach out to him and see what's happening. I love Kanye, bro. We all do. I love Kanye, bro, and I and I feel like they love Kanye, bro. I think. Uh, and my I think, mama always said, "Man, you ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say it at all, I man." Feel, I feel. They I need think. To leave I, think out alone, I think. I think we as a culture. And Kanye has to understand that who really loves him. Yeah, for sure. The white folk that he trying to impress all the time in all these fashion houses, they don't, they don't really, fuck with them. They, they using just, them. They just using them for the drip. They, they using, using them for the flavor. Yeah, you they know what I'm saying? For what and they you see how quick as soon as as soon as some uh, controversy comes or whatever, they, they bail out, out on you. They bail out on you. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Kanye got to understand he's not a Jew. Mm. It's bigger than the money now. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye is not a Jew. They treat Jews like they. You know how they yes, be there. You know how the people talk about Jews? Yes, sir. But he's our Jew. Mm. We look at him like he's our Jew. Come on. You feel me? So it, it's like y'all bashing him, but just a year ago, every nigga was pissed off. If Kanye don't put me on Donna, I'm like, hey, he's up. Mm. But now y'all ain't with him. Mm. She ain't one thing about me. I'm going to keep it real, bro. Yes, sir. I'm going to go to Kashki that way, bro. I'm going to keep it real, bro. These nigga be doing some whole shit in the industry, bro. Nah, you're right. You're right. You know, um, he had recently said that he 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 would uh, he wouldn't mind getting back with his ex-wife. You think Kim Kardashian? Because you know they always say the Kardashians got a curse. They say every black man to get with them Kardashians got to yeah. have a downfall. You think you think Kim has uh has influenced the way he's been acting? In yeah, his yeah, state? yeah, yeah. It's really that what it is. Hmm. I think if he get back with Kim, we'll see a different Kanye man. I think he just want his family back, man. You know, got that he got killed by this woman, man. He created legacies with this woman, man. So of course he he want he want to get his he want he want his he want his he want his he want his world back, man. You know a lot of people don't understand that. We all ju- you can't judge this man, bro. What y'all do when y'all go goddamn when that bitch leave y'all, man? Y'all be want to goddamn kill a nigga, man. <laughs> don't be mad at that goddamn that nigga. He want to kill a nigga, man. He want to kill a nigga by his wife, man. No facts. Come on, man. When these bitches be leaving y'all, y'all be want to got there shoot up the club, man. <laughs> y'all nigga had be tripping, man. Everybody For real. Is. Nah, yeah, I think I, I think you know everything in his life is uh is uh, under a magnifying glass. Cause yeah, he's, you know, he's the and, and black it, it shouldn't be world. like that, man. Yeah. Cause get what? If something happened to Kanye right now, man, everybody in the world gonna be sick. Oh, we gonna be messed up about it. We gonna be messed up about it, man. You gonna be messed up. Then y'all man. gonna y'all y'all gonna be like, man, the, 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 the Jews did it. Y'all gonna be just doing all yeah, of that. Yeah. It ain't gonna be a hating ass black person. What? I'm telling you. Mm mm mm. Now he recently had an interview on Drink Champs and they took it down. That was some hating shit. Cause how the hell you gonna get mad at a nigga saying his opinion, telling how he feel, man? You can't be mad about that. Y'all nigga talk how y'all feel all day, every day. Niggas do it all day, every day. It's just a nigga with them two billion say something over everybody mad. Mm. Y'all can't be mad about that shit, man. That shit be some whole shit. Ugly for real, man. They 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 throwing stones at that man when he ain't doing nothing but created a way. Everybody love Yeezy. Everybody love K.A. Yeah. Thanks. I just told you a year ago, every rapper in the world wanted to be on Dunder. They were hot when they won by the Soldier Boy went off about that. Uh, yeah, nigga, all these <laughs> niggas were hot, man. Nigga, who you know can go get Andre 3000 on the song right now, man? Just Kanye. He ain't taking it for it with the money. Nigga done offer this boy probably a million to do a song. He ain't taking it with the money. Yeah. <coughs> Guess who when he did it? Kanye. Kanye. Who can do it? Kanye. That's who? That's Jay. You got to understand it. There is no denying his, his place in the... Uh... In, in 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 the stratosphere, not he, I mean, he bigger than hip hop now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he bigger than hip hop. Like, I was just I was just telling Cole that like, it don't matter what they took from him, hmm. he still yay. Yeah, can stop and say I'm gonna do uh, Yeezy by myself. Yeah, he can you do don't it. think they gonna buy it? We gonna buy it. They gonna he, he can say I want three four hundred of them. 
You don't think they gonna buy it? They still gonna buy it. It's Kanye. You know what? Uh, if Virgil, if Virgil would have spent, I would say, like how we doing all white and just say, I'm just gonna stick to all white. You don't think people would have stuck to it? Come on. That's, that's Virgil. Exactly. You know, um, I remember it was an interview with him and Sway in the morning. And Sway, and, uh, Sway was like, you don't have, he was like, you don't have the answer, Sway. And then it came out because Sway was telling him to do his stuff independently. Yeah, for sure. And he was like, you don't got the answer, Sway. And he 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 later admitted that Sway had, had the answers. answers. You know what I'm saying? My point. Kanye got enough money where well, I don't think he need these big companies. He don't need nobody. And that's what people be understanding about being an artist. Niggas be acting like the way the world set up and, and, and technology of the day, you really don't need nobody but the internet. Come on. Talk about it. You got the internet, man. You can win. Speaking of that, I heard you got off of the deal. Pretty nice penny. Yeah, yeah. 1.5. 1.5 from Rock Nation. Rock Nation, yeah. And you turned it down. I turned it down. Yeah. That sure did. Wow. Um, at the time, shout out to ATL Snake too. He the one got the deal. Shout out Snake. Snake, real OG. Um, Snake, uh, one of the ones done tried, had so many deals on the table for me. And I know, goddamn, I ain't say it fucked up our relationship, but it's like, a nigga want some of that paper, man. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? He done put his neck out on the line for me. You feel me? And, you know, at the time, you know, I'm like, Snake, I got that in the room. <laughs> So it's like, it's like, me being so young and stupid, ugly, man. Yes, sir. Man, it was never about the money. It's about the machine, man. It's what that machine can do for you. That machine can do a lot of shit you can't do. Exactly. I don't care how much money you got. You know how many country niggas with money that still ain't got nowhere? Exactly. It ain't about the money, what that machine can do for you. And me not knowing at the time. Me being young, stupid, and money done got in my head. I'm driving S Coops, and yeah. I'm driving GLEs when they first drop, and I'm just standing <laughs> in the sky. We had a meeting in the sky. <laughs> you came to the sky to give me my Rock Nation deal. I was in the sky. Come on. Geeked up, I was in the sky. <laughs> I told my whole age, man, and she like, that boy, he's he so happy. But they offered me, I got that in the room. Hey, baby, go grab that bag. <sighs> I can't, it's too big. I got that in the room. So, you know, just being dumb, stupid, you know, I, I, I don't regret it because, hey, man, you don't never know what God got in store for you. I done sat and met with the with these ex. If I show you this, you're going to really go, yeah. get out of here. Well, you got to think about it like this. <clears throat> if they offered you 1.5, think about how much you really worth. For sure. You feel know what I'm saying? It, 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 I ain't get what. I, I, can't, I can't say, <clears throat> I can say Snake had a lot to do with that. Mm. Snake one and one now. Yes, sir. Snake one and one now, but if I show you who I was at the forty forty with snapping uh um uh, crowd lid with, you ain't gonna believe it. Huh. I show you another bomb drop. You gonna be like, what the fuck? Holly? Well, goddamn it! Yeah, 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 I show you another bomb. <laughs> I show you another bomb. Fuck it. Hollywood YC turns down one point five million dollar Rock Nation deal. Say I got it. In the bag, baby. That was a, that was a dumb that was a dumb move though. <laughs> that was a dumb move. That was a dumb move, you guys. <laughs> so so you tell it you tell it the, the youngsters go ahead and take that one point five. If the deal structure right, take it. Okay. Yeah, they trying to see see it was a lot of shit in there. We were trying to redirect and mm. you know what I'm saying. Oh, they gonna lock you in a tight now. Yeah, and I ain't I ain't want to get to it from. I didn't want to get to it from, and that what it really was. And snake. Man, Snake was so pissed off at me, man. And, you know, I love you, Snake. You my man. Shouts out to ATL Snake. Man, man. shouts out to motherfucking Snake, so my you, man. You, you at the forty forty club? The forty forty up. I'm gonna show it to you. Cracking crab legs. But cracking crab legs. Kicking big plate. Yeah, man. Know that is. OG man. Hmm. That boy Emery. Shout out to Emery. Shouts out to Emery, man. That 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 ugly money. And you ain't even posted these. You yeah, trying to make it happen. Okay. In the 40, 40, 40, 40 private room. 40, 40 private room, Emory. Yeah. If you don't know who Emory is, Emory is Jay Z's right hand man. Emory, Jay Z's right hand man. Y'all didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And Emory wanted me. And Emory. How do we got to take one? Let E4 know it's fish. Come on. Yeah, so, so if a nigga didn't think it was real, it's real. Israel and, and turned it down. Israel. That 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 just means you got a hundred million dollar check coming. I always talk about that hundred million. I always talk about it every song. Young boy just got it from Motown. Yeah, what they gave him? Hundred million. They gave that bastard hundred million. Hundred million, bro. 
That's what I heard. Reports is that uh, NBA young boy signed for for a hundred million dollars at uh, Motown. He the most screen artist in the world though. He gotta his, get some. He built his own platform, built his own he, fan base. That bitch, that about twenty three years old. I mean. <sighs> Don't know what to do. Just making babies. He yeah, can afford he, all he, of them. <laughs> that bitch can give you one of them to me. Cause get what they gonna make their money back. Oh, they gonna make money back real quick. He dropped music like it ain't nothing. That bitch done drop an album like, every every month. Every month. Mm-hmm. He just dropped one last month. Drop one this month. Yeah. And he they show, and they, they buying it. They streaming it. He showing nigga he can't be fucked with. Yeah. At a young age. Now, now y'all got to remember, he a young nigga now. Yes, sir. He a young nigga now. Baby told y'all, nigga, y'all need to start listening to Bird, man. He knows mm. something now. Bird knows something now. I can't count. Bird knows something now. Bird told he y'all, nigga. Long. He better know he something. Been, it, man, Bird been telling nigga for years, young boy going to be the next. Wayne, he been telling nigga that for sure. So you gotta understand that nigga big can't cap on this game. Can't cap on this game. Yeah, facts, facts. Shout out to young boy, man. Congratulations. Man, shout out, anytime, shout out anytime, brother, get that big game. Yeah, yeah, that ugly money. You should definitely celebrate it. Yeah, man, that ugly money. You yeah, should definitely celebrate yeah, it. That ugly that's money. That's beautiful man. money. Yeah, right man. Show. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, early, 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 we um, you had you had mentioned Charleston White. Yeah, for and you sure. said some of the things that he says you agree with, some of the things he says that you don't. I recently had him on the show uh, a little while back. I seen it, and I liked the interview. You know, I, you know, my, my platform is all about giving people the opportunity to speak their own truth. You know for shitty, saying? for shitty, and you can't even be kept. Don't cap it down. Uh-huh. Ugly. A lot of shit he say you might don't fuck with, but a lot of that shit he be being real. Almost oh, definitely, most definitely. I can't cap. I you, love Tip. He king of my hood. It, it was a lot of things that he said but that was that controversial. But that shit was too. I hate. I started looking at Charles and White like he was a bitch. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about he Charles and White versus Tip, man. Like Tip, okay, you know Tip, clear verses and all shit type of shit for me. Okay, feel me, real nigga. Feel what I'm saying? Like King of my hood, been looking up that boy since I was a baby. Yes, sir. You feel me? But when it comes to goddamn Charles and doing that shit with Tip. I listen. I used to agree with every, a lot of that shit. If it was a hundred percent shit with Charleston, yeah. I agree with Fit the Hood. I ain't gonna count. Yeah, the other Fit, I was like, oh, that bastard is a real rat. Yeah, but when it came to tilt, that nigga ain't went to ninety nine and one. Huh, huh. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really fuck with that boy after that. Cause I love tilt. Yes, There's sir. There's nothing you can say to me about Ti. Feel me? Solid individual. The king. Him and Low shot Low. The king of my hood. I'm a real bankhead nigga, man. So you know anything about bankhead man? Tip, see, see, tip come pulling up on that bank in that fountain man as a young nigga man. Motivation. Man going to Quint restaurant every day right next to Hollywood and bankhead man by West Fulton. Mm. You going to Quint restaurant every day? See, so y'all don't know about Quint. That tip on going to Quint restaurant man getting a wing man. I'm a real bankhead nigga walking up there man. Yes sir. Praying that you got damn seat. Nigga, I'm nigga, you walking that tip on uh, Quint restaurant. You might see Kevin Hart in that bit getting a ten p. Mm. On God, on bank, on God. Mm. Shitty. Real bankhead nigga. When he did that shit with Tip, now, I, I fought with Boosie. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, I don't really, I know Boosie, but, you know, I don't know his story. Like, yes, I fought Boosie, Boosie, real nigga. Yes, when he did that with Tip, oh, hell nah, fuck you, boy. <laughs> fuck your punk pussy. Hey, boy. <laughs> like, and I, and I agree with a lot of shit he was saying, yes, bro, sir. but fuck your pussy. Hey, boy, when it comes to that boy. Ain't King. Gone. That's why all them folk took that shit down. It wasn't about Boosie too much, it was about that boy Tip. Yeah, that's why a lot of them podcasts, hey, yeah. but that shit got cut out when they come with that boy too. I, I think, said uh, boosted that one, but I'm just saying it really wasn't about little Tootie. It was really about King, man. Yes, sir. And I what had he him did on the with King, King, what he did with King King, uh, 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 King. a little up and coming young, young little yeah. turk nigga, ETI son. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta understand, boy. And certain shit you can do, certain shit you can't. Certain lines you can cross, certain lines you got to stay on there and be like, I ain't going to fuck with that line. I remember having a conversation with one of my business partners, and, you know, of course, I had interviewed I had interviewed King two days before the situation had happened. What? Yeah, I interviewed King for two days. It's on the podcast right now. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I, I seen it. Yeah. When he said you did King Guitar <laughs> Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I interviewed I interviewed King two days before that happened. I interviewed Charleston the week before that. What? Right. So this is all happened. I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm like, oh boy, I don't know what to do. I'm like, and I'm like, I I got Charleston always did solid business with me. Yeah. King did some solid business with me. For sure. I had him at my he came to my he came to my summit and turned up, chilled for sure, and everything. For sure, for sure. Right. So I'm like in a situation where I, it's not like I'm in the middle, but I'm in the middle, and I just I just want to let everybody do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, 
am I? And I'm gonna ask you a question. Am I wrong if I'm cool with you and I'm cool with Chris and both of us, we all got a solid relationship, but you and Chris have a disagreement. Am I supposed to stop talking to Chris because I'm cool with you? Am I supposed to stop talking to you because I'm cool with Chris? Hey, let me say this. What can I do? I'm just going to say this and y'all go grab this ASAP. I said, look at the pain deep in my eye. This is blood I cry. Yeah, baby, this is blood I cry. And by looking at your thighs, you're going to fuck the guys. Stand neutral on the rise. We ain't them other guys. Mm. Bitches out here telling lies. Niggas out here picking sides. Ooh. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Thoroughbred, we a different kind. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Come on. We gonna stay neutral there on the is. rise. We ain't finna be picking sides. No, sir. Just because y'all got a problem. Yes, sir. Because I learned it from Birdman. Just when that shit happened with Birdman and the baby. Right? A lot of niggas chose sides. But what happens when them folk get back together? They gonna remember who chose them side. Exactly. And that either party ain't gonna fuck with them. They ain't gonna fuck with y'all. Exactly. Neither party. Nope. Because they back cool. They back cool. So you gonna you stay neutral in them type of situation. That's exactly Just don't what you is. go do no whole shit. No, for sure. Just don't go back. Hey boy, he said this. Hey boy, he gonna say that. Hey, when they come to your table, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing I'm to do with that. I'm ugly money. That grind hustle. That charging white. Hey man, I'm getting my money. There it is. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I yeah. fought with Tip Tip, no. Yeah. I fought with Charles Charles, no. Yeah. But hey, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Y'all grown man, how do y'all been? Hey, man, he said it better than I can say it myself. <laughs> yeah, that ugly money. He said it better than I can say it myself, man. It's shitty. It's shitty. Um, hey, man, let's let, let's let's keep moving, man. A lot of things been happening in Atlanta. Um, For sure. And I recently I recently heard somebody, uh, I forgot who exactly who said it, was saying that Memphis is is uh, the hottest. City in the world with rap music now. It is. It is out. It is Don't out. agree. Okay. Don't agree. And I fought with Memphis. I fought with. I fought with Dolph. First nigga ever brought me on the stage before I left a nigga. Got to say that now. Come on now. Got to say that. My first major feature was Young Dolph. Got to say that Talk now. Talk about it. My thing about shouting. Real. real yes, sir. Deal. Yes, Cor. Love fills a Glock. Woo. Fought with all them boy, man. Strongy. Yes, Strongy. Sir. It just, I don't like what they did. I really, I really, I'm really in my feeling about Dolph. Yeah. So I'm going to disagree. I'm going to disagree. I'm in my feeling about Dolph. There it is. I'm going to disagree. They killed a real nigga. If, mm. they, if, they, if they were the hottest thing in music, they wouldn't have did no whole shit like that. Mm. They killed one of the biggest independent money getting hustlers besides music that I know. Facts. Took care of family. Take care of family. Clock me in there. He over there getting money. Folk getting over, them folk over there getting money. Paper Rob and CMG, the two biggest Fact. things coming out of that motherfucker. Yes, sir. What y'all think we can do with together? Come on. Fuck being apart. What you think we can do together, getting money together? Do you think Atlanta's hip hop scene is under attack? Yes. And I ain't talking about just a Rico. It's just these niggas here don't stick together. Yeah. Niggas here don't stick together. Talk they hate each it. other. Niggas here hate each other, man. I done been in so many rooms where niggas, they say they cool, you might see them on the picture hugging down and kissing each other. They hate each other. It's so fake here. That's why they saying Memphis got it. Because they feel like Memphis taking over because it ain't too much hate. Them niggas will do something with each other mm. with no hatred. These niggas here, man, they hate each other. It's too much fake shit going on here, man. That's why we drown the night look like we losing. It look like Atlanta losing cause niggas here don't stick together, bro. And, and niggas hate and me for saying this. Like niggas hate me for saying this all the time, bro. Like a lot of big rappers like, Holly, man, you be doing too much, bro. You stop saying that. Cause you gonna let put niggas on with our game, bro. We be trying to get money out of these features, bro. These niggas, they, they be hoes. Mm. You ain't hear that nigga say that, but they adapt each other up after that, man. Wow. That shit be gay, bro. That's why I feel like if a nigga gave it to Memphis, he gave it to Memphis because they stick together. He gave it to Memphis because they stick together. It, 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 look how it's looking. Look how it's looking. Finish came home, him and Money Bad part of Big Beef, they tricked the world. Yes, sir. It look like it, 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 it look like it's together, bro. It's, it's, not, it's not that Memphis not, because Memphis got a crazy sound. Crazy. Nigga hard over there. I fought with every nigga no, that's sure, coming out sure, of Memphis. For sure. Memphis coming with them shits. But yes. Atlanta niggas. We the hub of music. How the hell y'all gonna say 
Clark County bigger than goddamn Atlanta. <laughs> Not saying Memphis small. I'm just saying, like, Memphis niggas come here. Every Memphis nigga you know don't move here. Got a house here. out here, yeah, for sure. And they ain't hating on that, because, you know, it's a lot of Memphis nigga I know. Glock. They can't fuck with Glock. Glock one on one. Yes, sir. Young nigga. But Atlanta, come on, bro. Memphis ain't bigger than Atlanta, bro. You gotta stand up for your city. No music, no music, no musically inclined. We'll fuck them nigga. Hey man, so uh, speaking of the Atlanta, Atlanta hip hop on under attack. You know, Gunner just got denied bond for the third time. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, for a person that's been in the industry and you know a real West Side Bankhead native, are you scared of the Rico? Yes. Talk to me about it. I'm scared of the Rico for them, not me. Cause I'm not a gang. I'm an organization. I'm a family. Well, my 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 shit is one hand family. We're a family. We're not a gang. Mm. We leave gangs up to gangs, and YSL is not a gang. Facts. Them boys is a family. They're being hated on because what you said. They, they musically they are huge. They humongous. The DA, I feel like she trying to. Get some wins under her belt with mm. taking down two big, huge, major rappers of the world, and they from Atlanta, Fulton County. Think about it, bro. They mm -hmm. just drop dirt shit that yeah. happened in Fulton County. Yeah. You're not from here. Hmm. So, you know, it's like when it comes to not saying dirt did, and he ain't do none of that shit. Facts. Them Von, them, then I ain't do none of that shit. shit. Them bastards weren't even there. Them some clones that tried to probably <laughs> pull that move. But what I'm saying is, I feel like they doing that to Atlanta because slime is humongous. And why I say not no gang? Them folks is a family. That nigga take care of real families. Yes, sir. Gonna take care of real families. I know. I know these folk, ass. man. Bro, that man still in jail, still doing shit for the community. Them kids still had school shoes and school clothes, man. Hmm. You know, I, I, but you know, you really, you you really gonna know if a nigga got some money when they go to jail. Going to jail to tell you how much money that nigga got. There Trust me. There it is, man. Going to jail to tell you how much money that nigga got. Yeah, get, so get, if he's still get doing it for the community, thousands of kids <laughs> still really coming out, he rich as a motherfucker. He really he rich as a motherfucker. Because a nigga who don't give a fuck about them damn kids, yeah. but I'm fighting for my life. I ain't even fuck them kids. He still did real nigga shit, man. So you got to understand, being a real nigga is free. Mm. Being a fake nigga, you gotta do too much to keep up the image. Ooh, wait, talk about it. You Big think, Allen. You think, uh, you think, you know, real shit. You think, uh, you think, you think Thug ever gonna get out? I know Thug gonna get out. Come on. I know Slime gonna get out. I fought with Slime. Fought with Slime. I, I just, I fought with the person that he is, man. I fought with the person that he is. He got such a good heart, man. Man, I'm at my brother Money Mar birthday party, man. Slime got that kind of late. He talking to me the whole time. How what we got to do to turn this shit up, man? Boy, you got to stay more consistent. Boy, you don't be being consistent. Do you really want to do this shit? You already <laughs> rich as a motherfucker. You don't give a yeah, fuck yeah, about yeah. this shit. <laughs> I seen him go in his bag and get Mark $10,000, man. What birthday, man? Mm. No, no, no cap, bro. Shouts out to Thug. Shouts out to Slime, man. Freedom guys, man. Freedom guys, yeah, man. Freedom, freedom boy, guys. man. Freedom, freedom boy. Guys, man. Freedom now, boy. Um, we gonna we gonna we gonna it's a, it's a little game I like to play called this or that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna say two names. Okay, cool. Whichever one you you rock with, you let me know. Cool. All right. Glorilla or Megan Thee Stallion? Megan Thee Stallion. Why? I just I just like the person that she is. And Glorilla just not my type. <laughs> you gotta talk about the whole two. So you going, you going on. You gotta Megan. talk about the whole two. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. fucking with Megan. I'm fucking with Megan a little bit more. I climb in the Amazon. <laughs> She'll be fucked up at me. She'll be fucked up at me. Glorilla, a real hood chick. She was just over there, uh, over cross seas doing an interview, and, and and she didn't know that foxes was real. What? <laughs> she, she See, yeah, I couldn't fuck with nobody like that. I don't know what the fox is. She was like, "What? I didn't know foxes was I real." Wasn't I, said, no, I wasn't fucking no. I wasn't no bitch who know what a fox block. is. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what a fox is. I wear fox fur, baby. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what a fox is. Okay. Oh okay, yeah, I, I can't I, talk to you. I got another one closer to home. What's that? Jada Wade or Sweetie? 
Jada. Oh, Jada. But nah, I can't go Jada. That's my man, baby mama. <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie, 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 sweetie. Sweetie, 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 sweetie. I'm going sweetie. You going sweetie. I'm going that, sweetie. That's Quavo X. I'm fucking sweetie. <laughs> dick down her throat, sweetie. I'm going sweetie. I'm putting dick down her throat. All right, man. Come, let's come let's, out let's go to some rappers, man. Pooh Shiesty or Fujiano? Pooh Shiesty? Pooh Shiesty, man. Freedom guys. Freedom boy, both though. Yes, sir. Nothing to get. Fuji Foo, done did a lot of shit for, for Atlanta niggas. For sure. Pooh had too though, but Fuji been, been more in Atlanta than, yeah. you know, Boom Man did some real shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from the country. But he from Georgia though, yeah, right? Yeah, for, sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So shout out to Fuji, but I'm going Pooh Shots though. I fought Pooh Shots. Okay, I got another one. T.I. Gucci. Tilt. Huh, he said it quick. K I N G, man, Tilt. Tip, first major artist jumped on my shit. And it was on me about doing the feature. Yeah. K-I-N-G, man. For sure. The king. I'm a bankhead native. There it is. You could have said Michael Jackson, I'm going to tell you, too. <laughs> sure. I'm a, I'm a bankhead nigga. All right, last one I got. What's that? Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Boy, you know I'm going with Trump, man. Trump done did a lot for a lot of niggas. <laughs> hey, man, bring Trump back, man. <laughs> the hell they talking about, man. You know hey, what's man, crazy about Trump, Trump back, man? They, they hated Trump when he was in office. They hated and that now, man, but now, now they they wish they, 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 they had him back. They wish they had him back now. They wish they had him back, man. They wish they had Trump back, man. Hey, yeah, man. I just want to... Yeah, I'm going, I'm going Trump game, man, for shitty. <laughs> for shitty. I'm going, I'm going Trump. I'm going Trump game, for sure. Hey, man, let these folks know what's next for Hollywood YC, man. What you got on the horizon? What can we expect? Notes from the GOAT. Yes. Notes from the goat finna drop. And after notes from the goat drop, I'm gonna drop from shit to sugar. Shout out to my brother P Style. Mm. Um, Souls of Anarchy, new collection, new caps are finna drop. Mm. Shout out to my brother D, King D. You know what I'm saying? He my one on one partner. When I say one on one, he the, he the one make the vision come together for me. Come on. You know what I'm saying? King D. Yeah, I am King D. Underscore, I think. You know what I'm saying? My brother. Um, Souls and Anarchy, Notes from the Goat, the music, and I'm finna start, finna get on my ugly money shit and start signing these niggas. It's time. Yeah. It's time. I you seen know, you been signing a lot of niggas, man. Hey, man, you know the thing about it is, man, we can't call ourselves a boss if we ain't got nobody, we put nobody in position to make no money. For shitty, for shitty. So saying? I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta listen to my man, Co. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody know who Co is, you yeah. know me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, my team, we just, I'm just building the team slowly, but for surely. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my brother Eastside Jota with Knife Restaurant. I'm shouting out all the niggas I yes, fuck sir. with. Yes, brand. Yes, shout sir. out to uh, Jack Boy, real nigga. Um, shout out to P Style, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Quay. Quay got the game. Finna, I mean, Quay got an app. My brother got an app. Okay. Finna drop. It, it, just, I already dropped. It's a game okay. on your iPhone. Uh, work for all, all, all iOS. Yes, sir. Android is called The Game. Okay. D A G A M E. Uh huh. My brother, a black nigga, black young nigga, you know what I'm saying? From the city. Got an app. Created an app, and it's a game called The Game. Y'all go check that out. Shout out to Atlanta, man, as a yes, whole. Sir. Shout out to you, man. Yes, sir, love. My love. brother, hey, you know what I'm saying? This shit been long overdue. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? The Shout out to my brother, it. Baby baby Chris. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout Trend out to 2K, up. Cool Click. Man, shout out to every nigga that I just know just fuck with my game and purely. You know what I'm saying? They really, 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 really fuck with my game. Like, it's a lot of niggas I really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who love me genuinely. I don't call y'all fans. Y'all will never be a fan. They my supporters. That's love. Shout out to my supporters, man. Let them know, let them know to follow you at, man, so they can get some more of that, that, that Souls of Anarchy. One Hollywood underscore YC and Souls of Anarchy, all one word. You know what I'm saying? Go on the website, Souls of Anarchy. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Soulsofanarchy.com. Hollywood, one well, you can follow me at one Hollywood underscore YC. You can follow Baby Chris at Baby Baby with two rise Chris two K King D. I am King D. You know what I'm saying? If y'all trying to get any true religion masses or huh. any fly shit, y'all see this shit. Come on, man, y'all know what's in it. We My brother, one hand co. We got to bring baby Chris on, on the podcast. We got. I think he got some things that we need. Oh to yeah, talk yeah. About. He gonna be. He gonna be shit. Yeah. See, it's slicker than shit, man. He gonna be slicker than <laughs> shit. He might be slicker than me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout sir. out to one underscore hand underscore co. 
my brother, one one hand rock, J Rock. No, my whole team, man. Marquise Keith, one Keith, you gotta get Come him on. up here too. Let's go. Another little hard nigga. Uh yeah. yeah, it is, man. And you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. Remember the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast. Big is in the Hollywood. Hollywood. Why see? Get that, that ugly yeah. money. <laughs>